Hey friends, welcome to a new plugin showcase. Today we got Ultimate Moderation, and this is a Sangata plugin. You can download it on the Sangata Marketplace, a link down below. Uh, but this is a great and fantastic moderation plugin. Uh, it includes tickets, punishments, uh, you can have notes, uh, it even has uh, locking chat and uh, clearing chat. So it has pretty much all your moderation features all in one plugin, and it is pretty sweet. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, do the main command, which is slash um, stands for ultimate moderation so go ahead and do that and it brings up your GUI so in here it lists all the players that are online or offline mode depending on how you want to do it so currently the setting is online so I'm just the only one online but I will be getting other people uh, to demonstrate how this works in a second but uh, this is uh, how you can toggle online or offline or even have both. So if you have an offline player that has been hacking and he disconnected, you can still find him in here and you can search for his name right here and you can just put in his player's name, which is pretty cool. So if we just type in ASDF and just try to search it, as you see, no one is found because no one has joined the server named that. All right? And then if you want to go into the player uh, and click on his head, then you have a whole bunch of different subcategories. So you got the tickets. And then you got punishments that that player has been uh, executed on and then you can also punish the player as well as moderate and then you can even have a note so uh, you can say you have different uh, staff people that's in EU versus US and you can just write a note right here saying hey watch this player he might be hacking but I have to like log off or something so you can use notes for that which is pretty cool. And then in the main menu, all the tickets, uh, all right here. So you can, if you have tickets, you can see all the tickets. And then you have open and close tickets. And then you also have a template manager, which is pretty cool. So you can set up uh, different types of templates uh, depending on what you want, uh, how your server to run. So I will show you guys in a second. But I'm going to dwell on player GUI for a second. So as you see, it has my school right here. And then if we do tickets, these are the tickets that I could create. So if I go ahead and create a ticket, all you have to do is slash ticket and that will open up a ticket and then now we can go ahead and create a ticket so we can type in the subject so let's just uh type in a hacker all right so we type in hacker if you put the hacker here now we can choose the type so we have a grief player report bug report suggestion and other so we're gonna have a player report and then now we're gonna be reporting uh asdf hacker all right so we'll just type that in and this is my ticket that has been created so now we can uh respond to that ticket so this is what staff will see and then a player will also be able to see it but they'll only uh close the ticket or open the ticket so i want to the ticket to be open right now so so if we go to our tickets menu as you see this is what staff will see so we have uh they made a ticket and then the status is open the player who reported it and a player report now we can go ahead and click on it and then this is what it will say now we can respond to that ticket saying uh what was the hacker doing so we can uh, respond to that ticket and then you can have a conversation right here which is pretty cool to idea because it saves all the conversation right in here, which is pretty fantastic. So once you have uh, resolved that situation, we can go ahead and close that ticket. So if we go back, no more tickets has been open, but as you see, it is in the close uh, ticket section, which is pretty nice. I like that. Now we can go ahead and punish the player. So in here, uh, you can select uh, the different type of punishments. You have ban, kick, warning, mute, and then it goes back to ban, which is pretty cool. I like how it's all in here, all edible in the GUI. Now uh, you can select the duration. So if you click here, you can specify the hours and minutes. So if you want a temp ban, you can do the one day and that will just have one day right here. And then you can set the reason. So the reason, uh, let's just say uh, griefing. All right, so we'll just put in griefing uh, the server and we'll just put in the reason. So that is your reason, the duration. So now you have uh, this template. Uh, you can create a template for different bands. So as you see this block up here, we can go ahead and create a template, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. Now it shows us what we want to call this uh, uh, template. So when you're creating templates, uh, you can do griefing, and then I'm just call call this one time. So that is a one time grief, and then they'll be banned, uh, temp banned for one day, and then that is the reason that they have. So that is the template that I'm using. So you can make many templates right here, and it makes it so much easier uh, to for your staff to be able to punish them accordingly. However, like you set it up, up on your server, which is fantastic. So if we go ahead and, and click submit, as you see, I just got temp ban from the server and if I try to join back 
I have gotten temp banned. So, so now if we go back into our menu and we check our punishments, as you see, uh, the ban has expired and the reason was griefing the server and it was one day and then I was the punisher that did that. So that is where it logs all your punishments, which is super helpful. So that is how the punishment system works. So I'm going to show you how to set up your template manager for bans or kicks or whatever you want. So as you see, we have our griefing one. Uh, that is the one that we created. So if you want to make a new one, just go ahead and create a new template. And then we can select which one that we want. So we're going to do uh, a mute for this one. And then we're going to rename this template. Uh, we're just going to call this... We're just gonna call this a filter bypass, so if you have like a, a curse filter or like spam filter or whatever, so we're just gonna call, it, call this filter bypass. So that is the name of this template that we just did. Now we can go ahead and set the, the duration of the mute that we want. So we're just gonna put uh, 10 minutes, right? So we're gonna mute them for 10 minutes, and then the reason so we'll just uh, type in a bypass filter, just like so, and now we can go ahead and submit that. So now we have our filter bypass, and you can create as many templates as you want, as many as you want. So we're going to have a banned one, and this is going to just be called um, uh, hacking. So we'll just call hacking. So we're going to uh, right click to set it to permanent because we don't want any hackers at all. And then uh, we're going to type in the reason. And then the reason it will be hacked client, just like so, all right? So that is how you set up your templates, and we'll go ahead and submit. So if we go back uh, over here, and now if we go back into the menu, and we click on my username, and we go to punish, uh, and we go to templates, these are all the different templates, and I really like this feature because you can have a whole bunch of different uh, types of templates, and each one can be specified for a different reason and a different duration. So we're going to go ahead and just type in hacking. I and mean, then click hacking rather, and then this is what it is. It tells you what it what the duration is, and tells you the template and the reason. Let me go ahead and submit that, and it will just go ahead and ban myself. All right. So that is how you make your templates. This video is being sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop designed to help make finding the perfect plugins for your Minecraft server easy and efficient. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is quick to implement your ideas and improve the platform. With fair and just business practices, Sangata Marketplace gives you the opportunity to download free and paid plugins to help your server stand out from the crowd. Join the Sangata community by checking out the links below you guys in the player settings is the moderating setting. So if we click the moderate, uh, we can freeze, spy, uh, access inventory, access the inner chest, and also revive a player. So if a player dies with uh, like some good armor that was killed by a hacker, you can revive them and give them uh, their same stuff back, which is a good feature to have. So we can go ahead and freeze my alt. So over here, as you see, we have uh, frozen myself. If I try to move, as you see, I'm trying to move. Uh, I cannot move on my other account. So if we go back, so then we can unfreeze them. And then we also spy on this player. So we're basically just spying on myself and and if I uh, run around everywhere and uh, I can spy on myself. So uh, if uh, we type in uh, like several different commands, uh, so if we type in uh, plugins or something, it tells you um, with the moderation, it gives you a social spy command, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. So it gives you a full list of uh, commands that they're trying to win, which is pretty nice. So then we can go access the inventory. So that's the inventory that I have. And then we also access uh, the ender chest here as well, but there's nothing in my ender chest. Just go ahead and kill the ice soul reaper. So once I respawn over here, if we go back and we do go back into our moderator settings, if we go back here and revive um, uh, them, if we go back and check their inventory, as you see, they have the same stuff that was there when they died. So that is that uh, revive feature, which is pretty sweet. I like that. So last thing in the player uh, GUI is the notes. So uh, you can go ahead and create notes in here. You just have to hit the create note. And then you can use color codes as well. So we'll just type in, watch this guy. So we'll just type that in. So that's pretty cool. So we can remove uh, whatever one that we want. So we can remove that one. And as you see, it works fantastic. So you can uh, create as many notes as you want, and then you can delete them uh, when staff sees them or however you want to do that. So that is how you do it for the player and GUI. So that is everything included into this ultimate moderation at GUI, which is super helpful. It's all there and pretty much everything that you need. So a few commands uh, that are not on the GUI are a vanish. So you can have vanish in here, which is pretty cool. So you can mute and like tint ban. All those are included in ultimate moderation. So you don't even have to have 
uh, any type of band plugin, it is all included, which is really nice. So we can go ahead and uh, you can also do the same commands you, if you see. And if you want to go uh, to a random player, you can just type a random player and whoever is on the server, it will uh, teleport them. And then you also have a toggle uh, chat, so that will toggle the chat, so it will basically mute the chat, and then we can also clear chat. So there's two commands, you can clear the chat, and for normal players who don't have the override permissions, uh, it will clear their chat, but if you want to clear everyone, you can just type in force after it, and it will clear everyone's chat. So uh, those are the two clear chat commands. It also includes staff chat, so you can do SC, and then you can make your own channel. So we can type in uh, ASDF, so, uh, so we ahead and join. So so if we type in, uh, this is the staff chat, so this is the different type of channel. So people can join this channel and you can um, make your staff chat right here. And you can just do S SC leave and that will just leave. So if you do SC, and then these are all the different types of channels. So we also have a fun channel, so we could type in hi. I don't know why it's spam like that, but normally it won't do that for everyone. What's up guys? So that is your staff chat. So we can do SC leave. And then last thing is the commands button. So if you want the commands by on or off, then it will just uh, pretty much log all the commands, uh, which was shown a little bit earlier. So that is the ultimate moderation plugin. I will leave the link down below and also the commands and permission nodes as well, because there is quite a bit. And make sure you have the correct permission nodes adding to your staff so they can see everything and get into the moderation GUI. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Peace.